The final Baltimore officer indicted in a racketeering scheme was supposed to stand in front of a federal judge today, but his detention hearing got postponed. Also today, we hear from Mayor Catherine Pugh as she made her first comments about the scandal. ABC2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler is here now with more on what the mayor had to say. Hey Kelly, Mayor Catherine Pugh had been quiet since this story broke on Wednesday, but today she announced a new audit into overtime costs by the department and shared the profound disappointment in how these officers allegedly abused their badge. Five of these officers have pleaded not guilty. Six of them will remain detained until trial. The last officer scheduled to appear before a judge today was Detective Marcus Taylor. But at the last minute, Taylor's detention hearing was postponed. But neither his family walking out of the courthouse nor his defense attorneys would provide a reason. Still, it signals the final lines of a dizzying first chapter in a scandal implicating the police department, a special task force, and the state's attorney's office. This afternoon, it was punctuated with the first remarks from City Hall. We in the city believe that whether you're wearing blue jeans or a blue uniform, that we can't have this kind of activity occurring in our city. Mayor Catherine Pugh echoed the disappointment voiced by many others in the city today, but she went one step further, calling for a closer look at the system these officers allegedly abused to pay themselves, in some cases, near double their salaries in overtime. We will be calling for an independent audit of the police department, especially with the overtime uh, that has been reported. I also want you to know that I have been briefed as it relates to this investigation, and it certainly uh, has a really bad feeling for me. The mayor says this hurts because it flies in the face of the reform efforts by both the police department and the Department of Justice. This is a necessary byproduct of rooting out corruption, but she says it is still painful for citizens of Baltimore to see. You can't help but feel for the citizens of our city because this is our money. I mean, this kind of activity infringes upon the people who live in our city, you know, who want police to protect and serve. This is why we're under a consent decree. The mayor calls this investigation and subsequent cases a step in the right direction. As far as that audit is concerned, the mayor's office says to expect more details on that next week.